I am Cecily Hunt, and several years ago, I traveled to Bhutan to explore the country while offering daily yoga practice to participants. Nancy Frazier and I wanted to share our favorite images, as well as the transformative spiritual experience we had in Bhutan. Kuzu Zampola, welcome to this exhibit of Bhutan. About 80% of the population of Bhutan is involved with agriculture, largely subsistence farming with traditional methods and a few cash crops. As mothers work in town or in the field, grandparents often raise the children. Until the 1950s, the only education available in Bhutan was in monasteries. Almost one in ten of Bhutan's population is part of a monastic community. Boys, often from economically disadvantaged homes, enter as small children. Known by their shaved heads and maroon robes, monks spend their days in meditation and study. Festivals, or setchus, occur annually in each district. They provide an opportunity for families to halt their farming and gather in the villages to witness religious ritual dances and socialize. Those who attend earn merit simply by being present. At festival times, holy men leave their meditation centers, caves, or huts to collect offerings. Those who offer alms are themselves blessed by this act of merit. Also known as Padma Sambhava, Guru Rinpoche brought Buddhism to Bhutan and Tibet in the 8th century. He is noted for having flown on the back of a tigress to Tiger's Nest to meditate for three months in a cave. At an elevation of 10,500 feet, Tiger's Nest, or Tatsang, is Bhutan's most holy pilgrimage destination. One must ascend more than 3,000 feet to arrive. Also known as Stupa, the Chorten is a mound-like structure or pile of stones containing Buddhist relics used as a place of worship. Footwear is left outside the temple a symbol that the world remains outside. Typically hung outdoors in high or spiritually significant places, there are literally millions of prayer flags in Bhutan. As the wind catches them and sends wishes for peace and happiness to all sentient beings, the sound, sight, and texture are deeply touching. Bhutan is a magical place, a kingdom turned democracy striving for a way of life in which happiness and peace are key.